Hi, what's up? I'm Fat Papa Fat Papa. Today we will make the double fried rice, one fried rice, two tastes. Let us begin. As you can see, today is that we are making one fried rice, two different tastes, double fried rice. So the beginning you need to have some of the ingredient prepared. And then the shim you need to, if you have shell, you need to remove it and then clean it before. Like the ham, those you need to chop it small piece or you can use the barbecue pot. Then you need to have the uh, lettuce to chop it slice. Also the uh, green onion you need to chop it. Those you need to prepare before you cook it. Because then at the time you just like, put it in the fry rice. So now, when the water boils, we put in the shim to cook it a little bit first. We don't need it to be well cooked. So probably 60-70% will be good. So what you do is that like when you put the shim in, the water boil again, then that's it. You turn off the fire and then, then you go to use the cold water to wash it a little bit. So I will put a little bit cooking wine in there, about half teaspoon. It's like to remove those like uh, false freeze shim though they have uh, some uh, taste on it. If you have kid, you really don't want to use it. Fine, put a little bit salt in there, just a little bit. So when the water boil again, it's like done, and then you just turn off the fire. Remember, don't overcook it. And for the rice, we cook the three cup rice i cook it few hours before we start to cook the fried rice you can use overnight now you cook a night before some people say overnight will be better but actually is the reason is to make sure the rice not too wet so that you put in the refrigerator you will the less water or you cook few hours early and then open the cover on the rice cooker it's the same idea too so after you wash the shim you put on the paper towel to dry it up and then prepare on the side so when you put the oil make sure the whole pan is like covered with the oil for cooking fried rice, you need a little bit more oil to be taste better. So it's different than the other cooking I show you guys, like with less oil or like less fat. But for cooking fried rice, it's different. So beginning, you will put the egg in first. So after you put in the egg, keep mix it. Don't let it sit there, like the egg will overcook. So we keep mix it. So you can see I keep doing it. I don't want it to be overcooked. It's like kind of like you're making the omelet or the scrambled egg. You keep yeah, mix it. And then when you see they are a little bit dry up, then it's time you put the rice in. After you put the rice, you cook it with the egg and then to mix them well so the egg a little bit egg on the rice and then together and then the rice since I, I put it on the side for a few hours or if you cook it overnight they will be a little bit hard so you need to make it well mixed with the egg also you need to make it soft like after you heat up it will be soft again so you need to make sure you did well on those after you cook a little bit and then you make sure the rice is hot and then the egg is uh, mixed well and after that you can start to put the ingredient before the ingredient you put in it has the step like the shim or ham barbecue pot those you can put it first and then after you put it in you mix it mix them together well and then after that you can put the green onion at the last step you will put the lettuce 
always the last step is the latches if you put in there over 30 seconds they will start to be soft and then the texture will not be that good so we want to make sure the latches will be the last one also if you cook over like probably a minute or two minutes the latches they will have like getting wet the water will come out so it won't taste good and then the whole fried rice will be wet too so that's why you have a step like you need the what ingredient you put in first so you see now i put in the ham <clears throat> then the shim and then we just mix them well so it won't be like the top is all the ingredient and then the bottom is only fried rice and nothing in there so what i do is that you don't need to do it like me because like the pan i hold it is heavy so that's why i try to <laughs> keep moving it other like you if you one hand like you cannot mix well so use two probably you use two big uh, spoon is fine just like the way you like to and then they mix together so see now they mix well and then we put the green onion after the green onion print, we put the lettuce and then we just mix it a little bit the heat on the fried rice will make the lettuce like cold so you just mix them a little bit then we can turn off the fire and we do the last step on it it will be put the soy sauce remember when you put the soy sauce you put on the side around the pan you will see what how I do it don't put the soy sauce in middle of the flowers it will be salty you put on the side like the rest of the heat on the pan they will bring up the flavor of the soy sauce and then if you mix it it will be well mixed so it won't be like one side is salty and then some is uh, no taste so you see we just put a little bit around the pan that's another reason I don't like take out like the on the soy sauce okay two uh, tablespoon and then I just like put in the cup for two tablespoons but you can have a little bit more it's fine and then unless those no doesn't matter that like you want it's like we just need the soy sauce that favorite it's not the salty because like this fried rice I decide for family and also for the kid after that you can take half or two thirds of the fried rice out the rest of it you will add the ketchup sauce the ketchup sauce i use some people might say why don't just put the ketchup in the fried rice and mix together the reason if you put that together without doing the sauce add a little bit sugar in then it will be sour so we want them to be taste good not too sour it's a sweet and sour sour is a little bit sweet a little bit more so the kid will love the fried rice and after that you can put some ketchup on top that is for coloring so make it look nice if you don't want to make a color it's fine and then like, you can like put it on table serve it if it's done so they're easy one fried rice you have two different tastes and then one for the kid one for the adult if the regular the fried rice without ketchup that one in hong kong style we call it yuan chow fried rice i hope you like my video if you like it give me a like subscribe my channel kick the bell so i have a new video you won't miss it i hope to see you on next video thank you bye